in the last video, we visited Cathedral Cavern State Park. We kicked back at the campground, enjoyed each other's company, and toured the amazing caverns. In this video, we headed to Gunter Hill Campground to do a little paddle boarding and fishing. Sunny got fresh next to the campfire. A war was waged at a chessboard, and we enjoyed the beautiful views along the Alabama River. Well, good evening. We are a Friday after work again, heading out on another trip, um, going back to the place that had me cussing on the river. So um, if you haven't seen that video, revisit Gunter Hill Campground, uh, solo paddle day two. That is where we're headed. It is a little cold, so we uh, will be bundling up, but we have a spot on the water but I don't know if it's going to be a spot that I could technically fish from. And I'm not sure if I'm up for paddle boarding with as cold as it is, but we'll see what the weather brings tomorrow. Um, just a little weekend trip, nothing, you know, long term. But um, yeah, feels like it's been forever since the Cathedral Cavern State Park trip at the end of October, but we are ready. And um, we're gonna finish getting packed up and then we're gonna head on out. Escape from Birmingham begins. <laughs> oh goodness. Lord help us. We'll get there eventually. It says hour and 46 minutes. So we'll see. Support friend. One thing that I found out. Dang to have one woman, gotta have three. One woman to the home and I own. One woman just to be a boy. You ain't never heard this whole song. I know you've heard it in memes. I mean, like in little video clips, haven't you? Uh, if we can find our stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, I see us right there in the front. All right. Once we were in our site, warming up the inside of the RV was a top priority. Well, we made it. We managed to escape Birmingham and uh, got on down here. You know, once we passed Alabaster, <laughs> show you where that is on the map. But once we pass Alabaster, the traffic really clears up and uh, it wasn't that bad of a drive in. Plan is to hopefully see what this campsite looks like. It is not a site that we've stayed in and we've stayed here quite a few times. So this is the first time we've ever been in a pull through here, which I did not realize it was when I booked it. But from just the general look of it, it looks like we're gonna have a really nice view of the river. So gonna eat and settle in for the night and we'll give you a look at this place in the morning. I made some red beans and rice with smoked sausage before work this morning so we could put some miles on it and have it for a quick dinner upon arrival. After dinner and a little TV, we called it a night. While the views in front of me were absolutely stunning, the view behind me was not. Looks like I gotta do a little clean up. This is at the bank of our campsite. So as they say, leave it better than you found it. So we'll pick up what we can. But first, breakfast.
After breakfast, I cleaned the kitchen and we were all ready to play. Once again, a full hookup site. Got water, power, and sewer. Love coming to Gunter Hill. It's one of our favorite Corps of Engineer parks. Jonathan started inflating my sup, so while I waited, I decided to drop a line. Trying to beat me to the fish. Sit down on the ledge like it's a seat. I, I know. Oh. I, I'd have been down. Okay. <laughs> that ain't how I got down, though. The roots supported me when I tried, so if you didn't uh, use the I roots, jump a little farther out that I'm casting. Oh, I'm yeah. cast. uh, Look like a good walking stick right here. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. With my gear all loaded and the planet a little closer to being saved, it was officially time to paddle. Getting back on the water on my sup gives me instant gratification. Couple that with fishing, which I plan to do a lot of, and I'm in my happy place. My paddle route is as shown, consisting of an out and back paddle and fish on Gun Island Chute off the Alabama River. Good afternoon. <laughs> I had plans on getting out here much earlier than this, but with breakfast and just trying to let it warm up and it feels pretty good right now. Um, ended up getting out here, it's probably about noon now, maybe a little after. But um, I'm gonna try and catch a fish. It's been a minute since I've been on the board, so. This may be my last time in Alabama <laughs> for the season, let me tell it, but um, we shall see. Yeah, I'm gonna fish a little bit and uh, hopefully catch <laughs> a fish, but only time will tell on that. So let's get to fishing. has gotten just downright dirty but according to my husband that's a sign of a good time so and I have I've enjoyed myself it's been a great little float I'm not in the section that had me cussing last time it's a little farther up that way but I'm not going all the way down there 
I was cooking this morning, a memory came back to me. I haven't thought of this in a long time, but when we were little kids, I say little, you know, 10, I'm 10, my brother's three years older than me, he was 13. When we would go outside, when he would want to go outside, my mom would always say, take your sister, like it or not, you know, I got to do some stuff that probably 10 year old girls should not be doing, probably 13 year old boys shouldn't have been doing either, but we um, had a neighborhood that backed up against the fruit grove, which to us felt like the woods. And um, we would go out there from time to time and take whatever we could find from our parents' refrigerator. So if it was bacon or bologna or any type of lunch meat that we could cook, we took it and several of us went out in the woods and we would cook our food over a campfire. And that's probably one of the first times I'd e ever eaten over an open flame like that. I'd have to say that's some of the best bacon I ever had. <laughs> some of the best bologna I ever had. And I ain't a big bologna eater. <laughs> but we had so much fun. I mean, it, and we were all, you know, everybody knew everybody in the neighborhood. It was just a little small town like that. And yeah, a bunch of the neighborhood kids would just get together and play in the woods. And now, if you're honing in on 10 to 13 year old kids making fires in the woods, you're missing the point. <laughs> but <laughs> it was a good time. And I remember telling my mom about it. And she may not remember, but I think I was probably in college by the end. But I told her that we used to go out in the woods and uh, camp. And she said, uh, well, why were y'all making fires in the wood? Because it burnt down a whole orange grove. I said, yeah, you're missing the point. <laughs> and then she said, so that's where all my bacon was going. So, so um, yeah, it's just, when, you're, when we were young, back in the 80s, you know, we found fun. Fun didn't have to find us made our own fun and had a good time doing it since the fish weren't biting my phone battery was getting low and the temps were starting to drop i pointed my board back towards home and paddled back to get dinner started for my cooking entertainment Daniel showed me a couple of his hidden talents. Once dinner was served, I ran back down to the river for one last cast, or two, before dark. Pants are getting cold. Well, no fish today. I'm gonna head back up. I cooked, and but I haven't eaten yet, so I wanted to fish before it got too dark, but it is officially too cold for me to continue to fish. So I'm going to go in, get me a bite to eat, and enjoy the campfire that Jonathan has gotten going for us and hopefully warm up. I got 
I nibbled. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the camera was rolling. I'm not going to see if I'd gotten that iPhone storage message. <laughs> oh, Bigfoot came out doing some weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is he holding? What is he going on? <laughs> is he juggling? What's happening? <laughs> I was. <laughs> I walked back over to the camera. I was like, do it. Even though it was just a nipple, I, he got out of the water. Mm -hmm. And then he splashed back down. Never gets old. <laughs> Gun season, I think, started this week. Huh. What are they hunting? Uh, deer. Oh, okay. I mean, it may be people hunting hogs too, but mainly deer. You think you could hunt hogs any time of year? You should be, because they so they evasive, but uh, they don't like people shooting in the woods all year round. Yeah, know? I can respect that. I saw a video. It was a farmer, and they was clearing their field. Uh, after they harvested the corn and it was like in the middle of the field it was like one little uh like 50 by 50 square left uh -huh. and the and the combine was about that wide so when the combine started in on one side hogs just start running out of the other side you know i'm gonna go see how the chess game coming along yeah, they won game too well who won i won one the first one and Oh, so this is the tiebreaker then, huh? This winner takes all. You're leaving it all on the table. Type situations going down here. Yeah. So three. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you got eleven thirty. Two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it's been dog. It's been dog for two hours. <laughs> it's been so dog dog so early. Yeah, just yeah, six on thirty, baby. Oh Lord, I've been playing on the water. Didn't you? Uh, no, yeah, you had to the pool today, man. I woke up early. This trip brought back good old childhood memories. We hopefully made childhood memories for the boys, and we can't wait to do it all over again. So, if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please like, comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Yeah, we're doing fine. We on uh, on 65 now on the way home. Okay, that's it. And then that's it. Seeing y'all come in, it's safe. Hey. Okay.